Hey everybody, welcome to the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. I'm Chris, this is my channel. Uh, how this channel works is I like to drink craft beer, I like to review craft beer, and I don't like to pay a whole lot of money to do it. Usually the beers that I review on this channel come in around the $2 price range, and such is the case for today's beer. It actually cost me $1.79 for a 12 ounce can of the Primus Mural Agua Fresca Cerveza. This is actually a collaboration between New Belgium who makes Fat Tire. It's probably the most uh, famous of their beers, their flagship beer. Uh, they were in, they worked in conjunction with uh, Cervecería Primus in Mexico City. So it's a collaborative effort between a Mexican brewery and a uh, and uh, and uh, New Belgium. Let's see if there is. No, there. There really isn't a. But maybe there would be. Okay, here we go. Here it is. Was, I was looking for it and found it. In collaboration with Mexico City Cerveza Area Primus, this Agua Fresca Ale features hibiscus, agave, watermelon, and lime for a fresh, vibrant sip, inspired by the Mexican Agua Fresca tradition of fruit infused with beverages. Um, if you've ever been down to Tijuana for even five minutes, you've seen somebody trying to sell you Agua Fresca. So uh, this is a, a beer version of the Agua Frescas that you see. This beer does have a 4% ABV and 11 IBUs. Um, considering that it's not really specific to any kind of variety per se, I don't have any history to give you about the variety. Uh, this is probably going to be a fairly short, short and sweet uh, review because there's just not a whole lot to tell you about the beer other than New Belgium uh, collaborated with a Mexican brewery. And uh, there you go. Uh, quick notes about the reviewing community. Nine of my friends on Untapped have given it a cumulative score of 3.19, so that's so so. 19,000 of us have given it a cumulative score of 3.37. Once again, so so rankings. 87 people have ranked it on Beer Advocate. It has a 3.48 there, which on their scale is okay. So there you have it. Doesn't get particularly high rankings, but I don't think it's supposed to be a. Uh, I don't think they intended for this beer to just knock your socks off. I am going to be using my Sam Adams Tyax glass or pint glass, depending upon how you uh, how you what whatever you want to call it. Um, if you haven't watched the video yet, go check it out. Uh, I do have a, a video explaining all the features of this glass that was made by the Tyax company and in collaboration with Jim Cook of uh, Boston Brewing Company. So, I'm going to go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Let's see what sort of carbonation and color and all that kind of good stuff we're dealing with. And, oh, it's pouring kind of a ruby color. Sort of looks like the last beer I had, which is the Sip and Pretty from uh, Odell Brewing. Okay. Lots and lots of carbonation. No other way to describe that other than high carbonation. What you're seeing is at least two shades darker than the actual color. One of the times when the color does not actually, or the camera does not show the color like it should, or like it is. Um, that head is popping rather quickly. I'm going to say that this is a semi-resilient, well, actually I'm going to say it's a rather flimsy head. Um, but it is a really nice color, sort of a ruby color. I'm going to do a quick beard wipe, see what I come across. I smell a lot of fruit, that's for sure. Um, for those of you who have these glasses and are unaware, that strange little nub there that looks like an imperfection in the glass, <clears throat> that is actually specifically for the purpose of bringing aroma to your nose. So if you want to really get a good get the good bouquet on this, that's the side you want to use. So let's see if we can come across here. Oh, smelling a preponderance of citrus fruits and a little bit of that hibiscus flower. I, mean, I don't know what hibiscus smells like, but there is a little bit of a floral smell to it. So I'm going to assume that that's the hibiscus. Mostly fruit and flower. It's it's uh, it, it I will say this. It's reminiscent of um, if you've ever been to an open air market like the French market in New Orleans or uh, some place like that where the produce you can actually smell the produce and you can smell the flowers. That's kind of what uh, that's kind of what this uh, is reminiscent of. You can see that head is pretty much gone by now. So it is a very very flimsy head, but I think it's supposed to be a flimsy head actually. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to quit yapping my flap and get to drinking. Cheers. Okay, I'm going to describe that as about a medium, 
actually medium low mouthfeel. A little bit of spikiness, but not a whole lot to it. <coughs> the flavor. The flavor is just a little bit sweet. Uh, you're getting through the lime. I can definitely taste that. What are the other components on this? Let me read. Um, let's see. Agave, watermelon, and lime. I'm tasting the sweetness of the agave. I'm tasting the, the citrus of the lime. Well, it's it, it's it's uh it's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give this a 3.75, 3.5 for the beer, an extra 0.25 for arriving in a can. Um, it's refreshing. I mean, it, it's basically what it says it is. It's it's an agua fresca cerveza. It tastes um uh, it tastes like a, an agua fresca, but it does have the spike of that 4% ABV, so there's no real alcohol burn to it. Uh, the flavor... Mostly what I'm tasting, I think, is the uh, is the hibiscus, and um, there is lime. No saltiness to this, uh, which I'd read one of the reviews uh, said there was something of a salty uh, element to it. I'm not catching that at all. I am catching the lime. I'm getting the hibiscus getting the combination of fruit. I think this beer has a real potential to be a uh, a beer cocktail beer. I think it could really lend itself to some great beer cocktails. So, as I said, it's getting a... It's going to get, well, I don't know whether it gets a 3.75 or a 3.5. I'll have to think about that a bit. But um, I'm thinking kind of leaning more towards 3.5. This really is a good base beer for a cocktail, but I don't know that I'd have a, a, a six-pack of this in the back of the fridge. All in all, though, it, it's still a good beer, and it was a good effort, and I like to see collaborative efforts, especially across borders. So guys, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, drink good beer, and don't break the bank doing it. Cheers.